Hey guys, okay, so I have another vehicle that I'm gonna ceramic coat and I'm gonna show you guys. This is a Subaru Ascent, okay? And this is a brand new vehicle from one of my clients that they just purchased. And of course, we're gonna do it right from the beginning. So we're gonna do a ceramic coating and what I'm doing here is a decontamination wash. You always wanna make sure that you do this to your vehicles prior to doing the ceramic coating because you want to make sure the dealership has not added any filler waxes or anything like that but most importantly you have to get it clean and you have to make sure that you are checking the paint and seeing whether or not it came damaged from the dealership with heavy swirls as you know that the dealerships wash vehicles um, by the bunch you know, if you've ever driven by a dealership and seen somebody with a huge tank on the back of their truck, um, no offense to them, but drying the cars, they just use anything to get it dry. And sometimes I've seen the older chamois. And if you could imagine, you know, if there's 50 cars on the lots, all those 50 cars are going to put contaminants on that towel and they're going to try and use it on everything. So. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy. What's up, guys? So it's Cal with Blacklisted again. So I brought you over with me to show you what needs to be done when you get a brand new vehicle. Okay, right behind me is this beautiful Subaru Ascent that one of my clients got a ceramic coated their BMW as well. And we're gonna go around and look at the car. Now, one thing that I do wanna tell you is you know, when you go to the dealership and, you know, you're excited to buy a car, one of the tactics that the dealerships have is to keep you there as long as possible. Now, I learned this through other sales videos and stuff like that. And part of that reason is that they feel if you have taken your time and you've been at that dealership for a long time, then you leaving would be a waste of your time. So that means that in turn, the longer they keep you there, the more likely it is that you're gonna get a vehicle, okay? But with that being said, what I wanna let you know is that people get excited, I know I did, and during this time, when you hear the dealer tell you, we're gonna get the car cleaned or we're gonna do this or that, they're adding a wax so that the car could look shiny but most important they're adding a filler wax okay now that filler wax is gonna hide imperfections so when you saw the car 10 15 20 minutes ago you forgot what it looked like because you're not inspecting the paint you're looking at other things they're showing you the features they're opening the door so during the time that they're cleaning the car and they're adding that wax they bring out your car, look super shiny, and then two or three washes down the line and you see all these swirl marks. And you're like, what? Is it me? Or, you know, if, it, if there's a detailer that doesn't know about this, you know, you blame it on the detailer. But in reality, it was none of them, it was a dealership. Okay, so I want to make sure that you guys understand that when we prep a car, when there's a new car, um, I use a soap that is high in pH. Okay, what that means is that it's gonna stick to the surface a lot more and remove a lot of decontaminants. Um, so, with that being said, do the initial wash and then we're gonna go around and we're gonna inspect the vehicle. Okay, so come with me. So thankfully, we're in good sunlight and we're gonna use the sun as our driver. So this is where we're gonna look on the hood. And if you could see, we're gonna follow this little light right here on the hood. Okay, so again, I 
All right, so from that inspection, this car was actually really well kept. I did the wash already. Don't see too many swirl marks, almost none. So here goes the next step. So this vehicle is gonna receive a two year ceramic coating. Uh, we're gonna use Gion One, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the whole car. I'm gonna polish with a finishing polish, not cutting, um, which is something different. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna clean up the surface just a little bit more so that we have a very very clean surface once we go ahead and apply the ceramic coating so i'm going to show you guys the process i'm going to time lapse it and i'll come back in just a moment so once again what we're going to be doing in the car is we're going to be doing a light polish no correction what we're doing is we are prepping the surface we are getting it squeaky clean so that we can make sure everything's good for the ceramic coating. So on this, what I'm using is a Lake Country black finishing pad along with the Sonex Perfect Finishing. So it's great just to clean up the surface, get everything ready. We're just gonna go around the whole car, get it all nice and dialed up and get it ready for ceramic coating. Once I'm done with the polish, I like rinsing the vehicle off, drying it, and just making sure everything, there's no dust, nothing. So check this out. Let me know what you guys think about this. So what you're looking at right here is a beautifully cleaned vehicle. If you look at those water droplets, they look clean. They're hanging on, but... I do like the way it looks. So once we go around the car, we're going to go ahead and dry it, um, blow dry it as well, just to make sure we get all the water out of the water traps. And then, then comes a the good part. So now that everything's nice and dry, I'm going to go ahead and start applying the coating. So you want to start with the panels that are facing up so that if you were to have done the fender first and then you lean over to do the hood, that might cause a problem because your pants or something might rub up against the fender. We don't want that. So we just want to get it nice, clean and uniform. So what I'm using is Gion's one ceramic coating. Okay, this is the new Evo formula that they have, which for me, the difference is that it's a lot more forgiving. So I can go around the whole car and if I still see a high spot, I can go ahead and wipe it down with no problem. Um, I'm using the 30 milliliter bottle. Um, there is a 50 also for maybe bigger cars, but the 30 did just fine for this and again this coating is rated at about two years uh, so 24 to 36 months um, well, actually I'm sorry 36 months with proper maintenance generally what you want to do is if you do get a ceramic coating is every three to four months do a recharge on it so that way it keeps the maintenance up and just recharges your ceramic coating quarterly um, you get contaminants on your ceramic coating. So what ends up happening is that you clog its hydrophobicity properties or hydrophobic properties. And that's going to lead to the coating looking like it's failing, but it's actually not. It's just clogged up. So again, we want to make sure that we use the proper towels to remove the coating and go back around it. And then once the whole car is coated, then I will go around it one more time with two clean microfiber towels to just go over all the surface and make sure that we didn't miss any high spots. So this is coming right along. And again, this olive green on this Subaru Ascent Onyx Edition is amazing. And I just wanted to show you the interior because I thought that it looked so beautiful with that big infotainment screen. 
and just everything from the stitching down to the color down to the patterns and you'll see a little bit more of the stitching here it's just simply amazing this is a three row vehicle um fits eight snugly uh i'm six foot one six foot two on a good day when i'm not slouching but it looks big enough and looks like it could fit me well so there's definitely something to look at if you guys are needing a change for an suv take a look at this one this one's a 2024 onyx edition all right guys so i'm finally done with this beautiful ascent now i'm going to take you through the inspection i like doing the inspection because uh you just have to double check your work all the time but most importantly i like using the camera because it shows me things that i can't see right away so it helps bring it out so let's go through the inspection this is literally what I'm looking at. by little spots that look like rainbows okay so I've already gone around the whole car so this is just me double checking triple checking because what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pick up things now just because Gion's ceramic coating is very forgiving Okay, so I could literally just wipe something off if I see it. And then we're gonna look at all the jams because that's usually where they overlap. You might get stuff there. So everything looks pretty good. Then let's go to the front. Look at this beautiful hood. So the headlights have been ceramic coated as well as the grill and everything seems to be looking good. So this is the Subaru Ascent Onyx. Okay, this is a beautiful olive green and polishing it out gave that beautiful metallic flake. Then with Gion's coating, this thing looks amazing. Let's go once around for you guys. So again, if you're getting a brand new vehicle, go ahead and, you know, think about it. Try and calm yourself down if you're a little bit too excited. Um, one thing that I want you guys to think about is if you're going in there with a down payment, okay, this is the bonus part. All these dealership little tidbits, that's the bonus part. This is a ceramic coating video, but these are the bonuses. So if you're going in there with a little bit more than $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 as a down payment, think about it, okay? Remember, the rule of thumb is that for each $1,000 that you put down, the possibility of the monthly changing is roughly $20 to $25. If you have two to three thousand and you're comfortable with down payment with that down payment and you have an extra five hundred or one thousand dollars left within your budget that you were hoping for 
save it for a ceramic coating save it for that new car prep okay it is really important that you do these things as a preventative maintenance not when it's already messed up okay so if you have like my client here we ceramic coated the vehicle 10 days no wash no chemicals on it water is fine after the third day um, it'll harden over the next three days as well but again if you can spare that just pretend you're buying insurance on it okay this ceramic coating lasts two years it's gonna make maintenance so much easier most importantly it adds that sacrificial layer so that if anything falls or sits on it we could completely remove it immediately and it has that hydrophobicity okay i love that word hydrophobic hydrophobicity um with water and everything else but again remember and i'm not here to be a debbie downer sorry for all the debbies out there that i know i love you guys but your car depreciates value the minute you leave the lot okay but remember whenever you look up your car's value there's always a few differences there's trade-in value and there's private party value so private party is always going to give you more than trade-in so if you have your vehicle maintained if you have your vehicle ceramic coated by blacklisted auto detailing if you have all that then your car is going to look exactly like this when it's time to sell and if you know people that have gotten leases and are like oh my god i have to get this scratch fixed or i have to get this fixed before the lease is up or something like that guess what do the ceramic coating pay once maintain it throughout the year that way when it's time for you to trade in or when it's time for you to sell your vehicle it sells immediately okay especially with something that has a paint job like this so again thank you guys for watching i'm gonna try and do a lot more videos um i'm trying to be as informative as possible i'm trying to be as blunt as possible uh, i know it's very hard to trust mobile detailers um there's a lot of people that have probably been jaded already by some detailers but guess what if you are in the glendale los angeles or san fernando area you guys can call me okay if you guys have questions or comments or anything leave them on the comments down below i'll do my best to answer all the questions that i get but ask me questions that you would have asked that detailer i had a friend just tell me that he used uh his friend which you know he wanted to give an opportunity to but unfortunately there were things that happened to the vehicle after that now he decided not to say anything and that's fine you know but tell me tell me what would you have said to the detailer what do you want to see on the next detailer would you hire another detailer because there are still some of us out there that take pride and joy because this job is what feeds my family and my little six-year-old son so don't hesitate come to me if you have any questions or reservations and I'll see you guys soon and stay tuned for the next episode. See what happens. See you guys.